Brother, let me tell you something. Many a day I've lumbered here by this fence and looked at this world. These fences which border this small plot of mud seem to be the edges of the earth. But I have gazed many beyond the fence. I have watched the hills of green and the tall, slim, terrifying figures who lurk and haunt the strange barn on the far side of the hill, who appear as specters as the sun rises at the break of day and refill the oats and float away without a word. I often wonder why we are not like them, why we cannot give ourselves the oats, why we are limited and chained down by the girth of our bodies and the uselessness of our hooves. And indeed for many years this sad truth, that forever we would be trapped in this shallow frame, alone, without purpose or direction, banished forever to wallow in our own filth. This depressed me. But yesterday I realized something. Who are we to be ungrateful for existence in the first place? Who are we to say that this life is not good enough? Instead of oblivion, we have the warmth of the sun and the coolness of soil. We have fair conversations and a good night's sleep. Who am I to say that these simple comforts are no better than death? Should we not smile like the sun and bask in our happiness as the sunlight warms the soil without question or thank? So brother, let us share oats and smile and frolic as much as our girth might let us. Let us see this pen not as a prison or a hell, but as a palace in which we might enjoy the best our existence has to offer. Give me some oats, brother, and let us dine together. I love you, my own flesh and blood, my brother.